Good day, everyone, and thank you all for being here. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Today is a special day for all of us. I tricked myself into thinking I'm a great public speaker, but this is no ordinary speech. Instead, I feel like my professor, Jim Cleaver, who during our class WebEx lectures would receive nothing but the silent treatment looking into a camera. Now I understand you, Jim, this is weird. A speech tends to be a recipe for disaster for me because I get anxious. I'm human like all of you. We each have unique characteristics and unique flaws. There's no one like you and it's okay to be different. And that's what I like about CMC. Doesn't matter who we are, our goal is to graduate. We are a diverse group of people at a school many haven't heard of. And despite being small, we are just as capable of excelling as the students from the most prestigious and expensive schools. The school you go to doesn't determine your greatness. The efforts you make toward achieving your goals determines your greatness. So as long as you know where you want to be, you'll be fine. Scott Meskety said, the stars will align, the stars will align. We have nothing to lose being at CMC, but we gain the chance to discover what our purpose is as we emerge in life. The journey isn't easy, but we're not alone. Our families, volunteers, and everyone at the CMC made sure that we got here. So thank you, all of you. Their job isn't easy, and our duty as CMC graduates is to change the world just like they changed ours. Positively impacting someone's life can be one of the greatest feelings. It can be as easy as having a simple conversation. For example, Ketsi helped me see my potential, Matt Janeshi exposed me to a whole new world. Jim Cleaver introduced me to a new way of thinking. And Kyle Michelson helped me push through my darkest days, all through simple conversations. The highlight of my semester happened one night when I needed to print papers at the campus, but the doors were locked. Luckily, one of our janitors, Kenny, was here, and he was generous enough to open the doors. He didn't have to, but it meant the world to me that he did. Utilizing our resources gives us an advantage, but in the end, it is up to the individual to get things done. Last spring, I stepped into Dave Ruffley's Colorado history class and I immediately wanted a transfer because I was afraid to fail and I didn't want to present every week. Still, I tried it out and Dave even offered us feedback on our class assignments, which helped me pass the class. It became my favorite class of freshman year because Dave not only introduced me to the gorgeous places to go hiking in Colorado, but he introduced me to the band ZZ Top. I had a great time driving home that night listening to the song Legs on full volume. Colorado may be an arid state, but the Rocky Mountains are legendary. I remember putting on prescription glasses for the first time in fifth grade, and I fell in love with the mountains at first sight. I was blind and opened my eyes for the first time, seeing the intricacies of the landforms as the sunbeams shone down on it. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Quote by Wayne Dyer. I see college the same way because many of us go into it blindly. Slowly but surely, your eyes open, you discover a little bit about yourself, and you begin questioning the meaning of life. College is also like going on a hike up a mountain with the end goal being that one breathtaking view. Reaching that destination is difficult and you've got to prepare both mentally and physically. Everyone would go to college or even succeed if it was easy. When I received Tinker's email, I was a little excited because by that time I learned to approach challenges differently since my last speech in Kendra Wilson's public speaking class. It made me nervous as I didn't expect the opportunity, but I do want to thank my friend and mentor, Luis Carrion, for helping me be here today. He shared a book with me that made me realize we can step out of our comfort zone as long as we're willing to take that first step. I'm not the most intelligent person. I'm not the most qualified. I'm only here because I got to know Chip and Hetsy really well, and they recommended me for this speech. So after reading Tinker's email, I experienced skeptical doubt, one of the five hindrances. I was afraid to make a mistake, but in reality, having that kind of mentality is the biggest mistake. So after two hours and 25 minutes, I accepted the offer. I have nothing to lose, but I gained the chance to get over the fear of public speaking, even though this is a pre-recorded speech. Think of all the reasons why you can rather than why you can't, because we have to control our thoughts in order to control our lives. We are more powerful than we think. We're all standing at the peak of our mountain today after this journey. It doesn't matter how long it took to get here or how you got here. What matters is that you made it. So soak in the present moment. Celebrate, because you earned it. Each one of us is on a new journey to the peak of a greater mountain. And as individuals, we have to find the most suitable way to climb that mountain, because there will be bumpy roads and it will rain. You must pursue your dream. Just like Shaolin master Shi Heng Yi said, there's information possible to be shared with words, but it is impossible to share the experience of clarity when you're standing on the peak of the mountain by yourself. We are all commanders of our own destiny. Congratulations, class of 2021.